It's a slow drive on the Abuja Kefi Expressway where Monday's bomb blast at the Nyanya Motor Park occurred. The military has set up a checkpoint on the road to inspect vehicles coming into the capital city. This is causing a traffic gridlock on the road. Three days after a huge explosion killed 75 people and injured dozens at the Nyanya Motor Park in Abuja, residents have to live with heightened security presence in the city. The Nyanya Motor Park still bears the signs of destruction. Government officials continue to visit the motor park to see the level of destruction. On our part, we we'll look at the possibility of um, ensuring that now that we are still working with the working on the uh, FCT uh, statutory budget, we're going to make enough funding for security. Uh, we're going to ensure that. Um, Virtually in all parks and uh, major commercial um, centers of the city, we have um, uh, cameras that can capture movement of people and action of people. Cameras that will be far above what anybody can tamper with. In that sense, we're going to ensure that um, uh, good cameras are purchased, uh, the CCTV cameras, the ones that we know of. Um, of international standard. Federal lawmakers also visited the injured at the National Hospital. This money is meant to be shared to those of them in the hospital. Whether they are fed or they meet their medical requirements, they have children at home, they have wives at home. The leader of the House of Representatives is also worried about the fate of school children in the troubled northeast. I'm sure after this incident, no girl or no child will be left in school until the insurgence is over. I, I don't think they should be in school by now. Monday's explosion at the Nyanya Motor Park is a reminder to residents of the Federal Capital Territory and Nigeria at large that the war on terrorism is far from over. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News.